So hello welcome back again to my channel If anyone have a question like can we create WordPress plugin by using chat GPT AI The answer is yes you can But um, I want to tell you I, want, I will not tell you like what is the limitation what is the uh, negative things because uh, as long as you use it as your personal I think it's fine so uh, as as um, I said on my uh, last videos, I, I made one actually a plugin for uh, myself to abandonment to speed up my workflow to help me uh, like building a WordPress uh, a website. Um, so the plugin template is uh, I'm using the WordPress plugin a boiler. Play. Uh, you can download it on GitHub. I will. Uh, it's free. Uh, it's 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 a uh, open source code. You can use it. And for the actual code, yeah, you can use a ChatGPT AI. And <coughs> even there is a um, website which can generate it, the template. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why this is not working? Last time it's working. But anyway, um, I made one. And I will show you the links. So here is the plugin I made with Chat GPT AI. So let's go to plugin. I'm gonna. I already uploaded it. So the name is Mang Web Bricks. Uh, because it it's it's uh intent it's intent to to just like cover the the, the bricks extend uh, small function for the bricks. Um, so this is the it's not really complete code because yeah it, it's it's my personal but I, I will share with you for maybe you can use it maybe you can learn from it uh, use it for having fun something else okay so the actual uh, function is like I got like four attempt uh, so let's save it the first is a save screenshot and uh, maybe uh, if you already watch my previous video um, there is some oh, oh there is some uh, there is question uh, whether we can uh, automatically generate it the bricks template screenshot and then save it as a thumbnail um, by doing this let's save change there will be a button to set screenshot and when you click it it will uh, use a HTML to Canva JavaScript library to generate it, the screenshot of your template and then save it as uh, your thumbnail. As you can see here. Oops, not the one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah this, this will be automatically generated. <coughs> and it will upload it to, yeah, yeah, as usual on your media library. The second one is the body attribute as you can see here uh, there will be a time which I need to add some classes or attribute or any other attribute to my body something like this let's say I wanna add some attribute uh, attribute name and this is my hufui so let's call it hufu hufui and let's add another attribute attribute name to value hukui2 uh, let's save chain and let's see now we have the attribute name uh, property na uh, attribute name and attribute value and we have yeah, another one and yeah it goes for the main it goes for the header it goes for the footer if you can see we have a main tag here you can add attribute here and if you, if we if you have a header if you have a footer yeah, it's same it will um, let's see um, on this footer tag and in this header tag yeah usually uh, uh, I I need to add some attributes so I need this one to, to speed up my process of development but yeah you can use the the hook and the filter 
uh, which uh, on the Bricks Academy website. But yeah, this is for just for like speed up my my, my development. And let's go move next to the what is this con? For the, why the, the the end is two? There is two end. Basically, uh, it's convert yeah um, the HTML tag HTML apa structure to the uh, bricks JSON so we can copy and paste it to the builder so let's say um, apa ya okay let's go to the bricks builder but it's not really perfect yeah I only add like I I, I have I uh, I should have I should add like which tag is supported for now I think it's I believe it's only like uh, div and table and heading let's say so let's copy this and then let's put here okay let's see here okay let's copy this uh, JSON and let's um, test it uh, I'm gonna create new demo a new dummy me it's not w it's the <laughs> why i always said uh, always typo when when writing something i don't care okay let's paste it so now we have like heading one we have a paragraph we have a button here <laughs> hey i think it should use a button element yeah but it, yeah, yeah like i said this is not perfect but um yeah maybe i will update uh, which tag is supported on maybe uh, if, if I got a time if I got um, resource to do that but anyway uh, let's see on phone end yeah we have heading one we have paragraph we have span but yeah this is this is right the tag is right but the element is not right it should be a button I believe yeah but yeah I will, I will maybe i will update it later if i got a time and got resource something like that okay let's move to the wordpress area this is <laughs> usually i'm go uh, i i need to disable the gutenberg i don't really use gutenberg for my client um because i already have a bricks um and yeah uh, usually i use a custom snippet something like that but yeah for for because I al always use that, so it's 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 not it's not bad idea to to include it on the plugin. And the fourth one is the snippet. So I just I want to collect all the snippet which I found, which I test, and which I already implemented it to the website. So if I need one letter, so I can just like review code and then just copy the function copy the hook copy the filter whatever is it and just yeah paste it to our to my uh, team type function file or just to insert it into the uh, function file snippet something like that yeah I need this one so I don't have to like uh, googling everything or just uh, visiting the, 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 the website uh, just, just only for uh, copying the same code yeah but i i will maybe i will input all uh, uh, the snippet which i think i will uh, need it for every website for almost every website i made so basically it's done there is no uh, no no nothing on sub menu yet i don't uh, i i have not delayed this but in case i need it so i just leave it like that but yeah anyway uh, i i will uh, put link on my uh, video description below and which one is the I forget ah uh, here it's called Mangweb Bricks you can download it and of course uh, if you are uh, good at PHP good at JavaScript you can like make a break make a branch I, I don't know what what is the term I I I, I really I, I rarely very rarely use the github and I'm not really familiar with the development uh, term I don't I don't I don't really know but if you have like uh, some suggestion 
or you get the issue or maybe you can like uh, op- optimize the code in the plugin well you can uh, go ahead and please let me know maybe i can use your version because maybe it's better than me and than mine yeah just like that yes. this video is only 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 explain uh, yeah, this plugin and yeah please uh, please uh, test it for yourself and don't forget uh, i recommend it to not use this as on your production Uh, as usual, please discuss this with uh, your fellow developer first. If you don't understand, uh, or if you, um, you can ask me. And might be I can, um, I can do some help. But anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to uh, comment uh, if you have, um, yeah, any other uh, content topic which which uh, should i cover and thank you for watching once again and see you bye bye on the next video Yee.